American consumers are reeling from high food prices, the cost of food up better than 4 percent annually, outpacing inflation at 3.7 percent. Uh, a recent report from Lending Club also shows 60 percent of adults are living paycheck to paycheck, the number unchanged from last year when inflation was actually higher. Joining me right now is the CEO of Stu Leonard's Grocery Stores. Uh, Stu Leonard is with us. Stu, great to see you. Thanks very much for being here. You too, Maria. Yeah, Thank it's, you. it's early. I know usually we see a lot of activity behind yeah. you, but it's only uh, before before 7 a.m. I guess you're not open yet but Stu let's talk We're about pricing and and what kind of changes you're seeing have you seen inflation and high prices come down as the headline number has come down or no well you know what I think when we look at our prices last year for this this year Maria they're about the same there's a couple little blips like meat prices have gone up uh, because the herd sizes of the cattle is lower um, so you're seeing a little bit of a bump in meat right now. We're hoping that'll come down by the holidays. But as far as other items, bananas are the same. Avocados might have gone up a little bit. A lot of this is supply and demand. Like, like right now, uh, out in California, grapes and blueberries are high because of the hurricane they had. So a lot of cu customers are finding you're sort of riding that supply and demand curve right now. You know, a lot of the retailers talk about what they call shrink, and that is the shrink of inventory because of all of the theft. Have you had uh, to grapple with that? Hey, you know, here's something everybody can look at. Look, here's two two containers of tuna fish. Don't they look the same? Yeah. You know, one of them is a is a leading brand right here at two ninety nine. This one's Stu Leonard's right here at a buck ninety nine. This one is is five ounces. Ours is five ounces. The national brands is four ounces. So look at the two of them. They look exactly the same. So I would just recommend check the package size because these big companies are reducing the size of the package and keeping the price the same. Yeah, it's a great point. What I'm asking you about is, uh, is shrink. Uh, the retailers call it shrink because of theft. Have you had an issue with theft? Oh, yeah. Huge problem right now of all retailers. I talk to everybody, Target, you know, uh, uh, you know, and, and everybody's reeling. They're putting everything behind glass right now so people can't steal anything. I said to the, one of the head buyers at Target, I said, well, doesn't that hurt sales when you put it behind glass? They said people were stealing so much it actually increased sales. So we got to watch it. We have a, a security guard at the front door. Um, we have 150 cameras in each store, and we're watching customers as they come through. But a lot of problems right now, Maria, is that if you do catch somebody, the police just, what are they going to do? Right. You know, they don't even react. They don't even come over and arrest the person. You just really got to let them let them go. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's definitely an issue, and that's about bad policy. Yeah. Stu, I want to get your take on the upcoming holidays and what you're expecting. I see you've got pumpkins behind you, um, and we've got <laughs> yeah. uh, Halloween on the like way. Right yeah, now? and then How Thanksgiving. Like that that is something. Wow. Uh, so what are you expecting? <laughs> uh, we're less than a month away from Halloween. Uh, tell us about your expectations for the holidays. We had, we had one guest the other day who said, we're going to have one of the worst holiday seasons this year because of this slowing economy and higher interest rates is that the way you see it well you know what I'm, I'm usually a little more optimistic because we had to buy 500,000 pumpkins right now wow. I, I had to buy them contract like three four months ago uh, Christmas trees we just ordered 50,000 of them I'm expecting this holiday to be as good or better than last year our customer counts are up right now Customers are buying, but they definitely are putting one less item in their shopping cart. I see. So I'm, I'm expecting a pretty good holiday right now. I, I mean, I, I feel the vibe uh, uh, pretty good on the customer on the store floor right now. Terrific. Stu, it's good to see you. Thanks so much. Yeah. Hey, Maria, one thing yes. real quick. I got to promote our, our pumpkin chili because Sunday morning I took over your plaza down in New York I right outside you your studio. Yeah. We had a tractor in the middle of New York City. We had 250 bills of hump animals, and, and I'm ready to get on to talk about our pumpkin chili. And they said, your four-minute segment went to two minutes. I said, why? And they said, Maria. Maria. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess you went a little over or, or the timing. I don't know what, oh, what goes on back there in the studio. But anyway, uh, so I wanted to promote our chili here. If you go to StuLeonards.com, you can get the recipe. All right. Thanks for that, Stu. <laughs> Great to see you. Happy Mwah. Halloween. Okay, Stu Leonard guys, joining us. Happy holidays.
And to you. Bye -bye. Quick